Let's do some quick makeup with my all-in-one compact from St. Beauty. It's got all the shades that I need and then some. So really quick, this is totally customizable to you and your budget and your skin needs. So I can help you do that. You can get a color match at colormatchbysuzy.com. But we are going to start by, I'm going to use this color right here. This is olive. I have a little bit of discoloration here in my cheeks and olive is really good um, for people with melasma or if you have some age spots that you need to kind of conceal or camouflage a little bit, we're gonna kind of just barely tap over some of that. I'm not necessarily gonna use this as a contour, even though it is, I'm using it to kind of correct some of this darker area. And I'm just stippling, I'm not gonna swap it because if I swap it, then I'll move the product around, okay? So we've got that on there and now I'm gonna go in with my contour shade and I'm going to actually use the color here, this indigo. This is pretty dark and it looks scary, but it's beautiful on. And even people with lighter skin tones can still pull it off because it blends in just beautifully. Okay, and I'm gonna go up here on the forehead with it as well. So that's got the forehead contoured. And now we're gonna just do a little bit on the nose. Okay. Okay. So now I'm contoured. And now we're gonna go in with the main shade. And for me, that's sandy, and again, I can tell you what yours would be. So I'm just gonna kinda pop this around everywhere really lightly. I'm just barely tapping into my compact here. And this is a pretty big compact. You don't have to start off with this. You can start off with one as small as just four of these in there, but you'll wanna grow. <laughs> you'll get obsessed like I did and want more. Even when you're a no makeup kind of person, you're gonna be like, I really enjoy this, because kind of fun. It's a fun makeup. Over three years later and it's still fun. Okay. So I've not blended it out yet. This is, but work with me. Um, now we're going to go in and we're going to do a brightening. So I'm going to flip over to this brush and we're going to go, okay. Yeah. With this shade, this is Aura. And we're going to brighten right down the center of the face. And I may pop just a little bit right there too, to kind of blend in more with my neck. My neck is lighter than the rest of my face. And that's always been fun to try to match. Okay. And then we're gonna do just a little lift and a lift and even a lift here right up under. There we go. And then we're gonna pop just a little bit on these old discolored eyelids. They've gotten a little veiny in my older years. Okay, so now there's my face. We're gonna blend it out and I'm gonna speed this process up, okay? Okay, so when I blended this, I don't swirl or anything with that. I'm still just kind of stippling, but I'm pushing in and barely pressing upward so I don't move much of the product around. And then when I put on my bronzer, it'll blend it even better together. Now I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna get some of my bronzer here. This is the Bella bronzer. Um, and I'm going to just put this kinda on the high points of my face, but it's mainly where I contoured. The contour is going to give me a little depth and a little structure to my face. And this bronzer is going to give me some warmth, kind of like a sun kissed. I'll go over my nose just a little bit because I get some sun on my nose. And then you can drag this down your neck as well. If you are a person like me and your neck's a different color, this will tie that whole um, 
look together. Okay. And then we're going to do the blush. So this is a lip and cheek. We're going to use rosewood. It is my favorite. I love this. It is such a pretty kind of a burnt orange. Beautiful color. And that's my face. I can put this on my lips if I want to. You can follow up with a lot of other things. We have add-ons. But if you want a color match, I would absolutely love to give you one. It's colormatchbysusie.com.